Greetings, my disciples. Don't mind me. We're just going to do a quick little audio check before we begin. Just making sure that everyone can hear me. Okay, I think we are good. Uh, yes, we are good, Angel. Okay, cool. Hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. Okay. Yes, we are here to watch Stellar Play. <laughs> oh, my maid is throwing a pillow with my fiance. Yes, we are here to play some Stellar Blade. It is. I have not played this on stream yet, so the part 15 is counting the other 14 parts that I've made YouTube videos of, though not all of them are up yet. But we are here to play it regardless. In in my jogging suit. Yes, well, and yeah. we'll catch and we'll catch you up on some of the important stuff. Yes. So that some people are not completely lost, actually. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So basic backstory of the game for those who have not seen or heard much about it. Um, the Earth is well post-apocalyptic, of course, with these um, fleshy monster things called the Tibia taking over and murdering people. And my person is a robot android from up in space in an area called the Mother Sphere. And and we were sent down here to try and kill the Alpha Natibia so we can find the uh, nest of Natibia and hopefully take them out for good. Of course, because, because it is post-apocalyptic JRPG, everyone died at the very beginning except for me. Including including my uh, mentor slash friend person who got mega stabbed. Rude. And then we were saved by my friend over here. Is that Adam? Yes. Hi, we were Adam. saved by Adam. And then eventually we ran into Lily, who is also from the squad, but was trapped in her escape pod for like two years. So she was probably here much longer before me. And this is the big city that we are in, but... Unfortunately, the city is almost out of power, so we had to go and get things called hypercells so we can make sure that the people who are kind of in stasis at the moment do not die and some of them can be woken back up. Yeah, wait till you see the stasis chamber. It's basically a board cube. <laughs> yeah, um, we did a whole bunch of side quests last time. We're going to do some more now. Um, we went through a creepy place that was kind of like Resident Evil because I couldn't use any of my attacks except for my gun, so... <laughs> So, Angel missed that, but it was oh, very yeah. much Resident Evil with, like, these, these, um, um, limbless torsos that, that, um, kamikaze you, these killer plant things, and these zombies that have explosive things on their belts. So, are we, okay, here's the thing, are we talking RE2 or RE8 Dollhouse Resident Evil? Because those are two very different Resident Evils. RE8, but not the dollhouse, because oh, no. you can't fight in the dollhouse. And there was there was very little puzzle solving in there. It was mostly just things jumping out at me and me panicking and firing bullets at their faces. Well, you know, that is also how we went around the dollhouse, really. Things jumped out and we panicked, and there were dolls. That is, that is fair. Also, just wait till you see it. Pretty much everybody here... It's just some level of adorable. Lily's adorable, Adam's pretty cute, Anya's adorable. Even your character, whose name is Eve, actually. Is adorable. It's very adorable, yes. She's just like sweet little gentle voice. <laughs> yeah. She's also just like kind of potentially a Barbie doll, because every shoe that she wears is high heels and she's totally oh, down with it. You're ready to go? Matrix 11 is an underground facility. The search perimeter is extensive, so make sure you're prepared. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> Let's travel to another place first, actually, because I think we've got some side quests. Not side... Yeah, let's travel to Idol 7, because there's a whole bunch of side questing to be doing there. Cool. Also, on my side of the thing, um, audio and visual are working. Hmm. Good to know. Oh, this wasn't here before. Mm. Hello, I'm, I'm calling to I'm calling to ask you about your extended warranty. No, hi. <laughs> we can use that to warp around a little bit, but first let's actually see the map because I have no idea. What do you mean there's no map for this region? <laughs> Why can't terrain data be acquired from this region? 
I don't want to have to run through the entire place again just to find the stuff I miss. But I will if I have to. Hello, little monsters. Oh yes, um, High Master's theory is that, oh boy, is that all the characters look so freaking cute because the monsters themselves are kind of unfortunate looking. Like that one in particular, it's like someone crossed a big scorpion with like a tech type spider from The Legend of Zelda and just unleashed it into the world and forced us to deal with it. Fortunately, we have a big sword and, god, I have to miss the hair. The, the hair is still cracking me up. It's so damn long. <laughs> it goes down to our heels. Look at it. camp where we can just sit down and get some rest. Yep. Ah, <sighs> uh, yes. Because nothing says healing all your injuries like taking a seat for five seconds in a chair. Next to a vending machine. It also causes all the monsters to respawn. Would you like a chocolate dinosaur? Sure. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's very rough. Okay. <laughs> well, I think you said what it is. A chocolate dinosaur. I know. I was just trying to see if I could figure out what kind of dinosaur it was supposed to be. Ah. Um. The answer is no. Mmm. Look, a bench. I did not come over here last time, so... Nope, exploring for more treasure. As you do. Ooh! A little treasure robot! No, you come back! No. Hmm. Wasn't there a person in the last one who was, like, so obsessed with, like, finding... Like more memory sticks because they she said that they were her treasure. Mm-hmm. She wasn't she wasn't talking about like here as the place, was she? I think she may have been. Okay. Cause that's that's the whole reason I'm coming back here, is because there were a few quests here and in and in a similar area that you can get to via monorail or fast travel that that had quest things to do. I just don't know where the quests are, which is why I'm running through this area a little bit. Yeah. I, I, I feel like they might not be in this part, because this is like the tutorial area, but... Woo! Yeah. There was one, one lady who was kind of like... Like, curled in on herself, like, in a little ditch off of the town, who was just kind of muttering about treasure. Kind of like Gollum-esque. <laughs> mm-hmm. Turns out the treasure that she was it, that she was very obsessed with grabbing were memory sticks, and she said that there were more that she wanted to get that she should have protected. Um, Eve kind of had to pry some of the details out of her, <laughs> yeah, and translate a little bit because I think about ninety-five percent of the words that the lady used were just treasure. <laughs> um, not ninety-five percent, but a very good chunk. Were. Yes. And so, uh, well, hello. <laughs> Sorry. That thing just uh, attacks so quick that, that there's like no way to dodge it. He also was just kind of standing there behind the pole with his claw raised, just waiting for something yep. to come around. Like, bro. Yep, he was there before. Bye bye, evil technical monster. It's like he saw you coming. Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Bless you. Give me. Oh, oh. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna be right here. She will not see me. And mm. I attack. Can I open this box now? Yes, I can. I did not have the code for this. Yeah. All right. 
Treasure! Treasure! Bonk. Good thing I came back. Good thing I came back. So that's like one of the side quests that we may be able to find here. Yes. Yeah. So glad I was able to find that. Yeah, if we are connecting, uh, if you're going to like pick up on some side quests that you started back in the other city, um, mm -hmm. let's just, maybe we can um, just give people, a, like if you come across them, be like, oh yes, let me continue, like this will continue this like side quest X. Mm -hmm. well, um, we can certainly, you know, give people a clue. It's like, oh yeah, you know, this is what side quest X was about. This yeah. is to us, this is what we're doing here. Yeah, well that one was just find the Legion's secret stash. Well, that was helpful. And that's yes. fair. But if we come across another one that has oh. more of a... Oh, a box. I didn't find this one before. Kick. Mm -hmm. I have never heard you say, oh, a box so excitedly in my life. Well, the box had a bunch of treasure in it. I, I know. And, like, here's the thing. You normally do, but sometimes you're just like, oh, a box. And you're, like, super playful about it. That one, you're like, oh, a box. You were well, that's a, that's a special box. You were genuinely excited. It was kind of yeah. cute. Well, that was a special box, not just, an, not just any old cardboard box that I can break open. How many of the boxes in these games are cardboard? They're at least wooden. Okay, wooden. Right. <laughs> now you're getting a shower. Like I wasn't getting a shower before. It's been raining the whole time. But then you went like direct. But then you went directly underneath a spout in that one. Oh, oh no no no, Eve no. Eve, honey, there you go. I do like the game in terms of like combat and such, but some of the controls are iffy. Ah. Or, or just kind of finicky. Now you're in the bath. Because there's treasure in the water. Of course. Of course there is. There's also fish. And look, a seat. Yay! More recharging! Yep, I'm just kind of sprinting through most of this. Bye. And also scanning frequently to make sure I don't miss any other treasures. Yeah, that's what that um like little white flash is. That's um her that's um scanning. If you see anything show up in red, uh means it's an enemy. I'm not really sure what what treasure shows up as, but um that oh Okay oh. I'm on, I dodged that. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, the dodging is also a little finicky. Or that, or my timing just sucks. Yeah, or both. Oh my god, okay. Well, you know what? Still seems to do less damage than that other side quest did. <laughs> you legit guy. So, here's the thing. This episode was almost titled Episode 15, Some Side Questing, Don't Get Stabbed. Because... There was another side quest where we literally just walked down an alley, got stabbed in the back, had a cutscene, and that was it. That was it. Yes. The, someone someone was, like, screaming that his uh, sister got kidnapped by Luthers, and so Eve runs to the rescue, because of course she does. And then she comes across said Luthers, and they just stab her in the back and drop, and she drops to the... Like, it was right through a lot of her circuitry. And mm -hmm. she dropped to the ground. She, like, was not able to move or even speak. Oh, I found the book. Oh. Hang on. Well, okay, we'll come back to that in just a second. Mm -hmm. um, but then, uh... And then they, they were about to, like, strip her body for parts. And then she... Oh, what does this say? Um, it's all a lie. We've been tricked. It wasn't the monsters killing us, but Mother's Fear. Whoever's reading this, listen up. I, Felix... A once devout believer, Jesus declared Mother Sphere is a false god, a living calamity trying to kill us. It's a lot easier to keep faith when you're not staring death in the face. That's fair. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, someone asked us to get that book for them. And no, we are not going to go back now. What was the story like? Um, why did they want that? Um, it was like their brothers, who is also like a... Um, like a minister of this religion that worships the mother sphere. Okay, well they um they lost they were they were apparently on the verge of death and they and they decided that no the mother sphere is evil. Blarg. Oh, that's gonna be an awkward. Yorgi Shmorgi. That's gonna be an awkward uh, keepsake to have, but okay. Fair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh yeah, and so then Adam actually comes to help Eve after she gets stabbed, and he's like, "Let's get you back to the main area for repairs." <laughs> And then she wakes, and then you know she wakes up and she's fine. And then she goes out to see 
him and Lily, and then it honestly transitions into um, you unlocking your double jump, and there's no... <laughs> there's no context, because the double jump was just sort of like a main quest thing. It is not connected. It was not connected to the stabbing side quest at all. That was it. They were completely unrelated. <laughs> so she basically woke up. There's no extra communication. She just gets stabbed. Yeah, no other continuation of the side quest either. It's just... It's just get stabbed, wakes up. Oh, hey, here's double jump. Thank you. Angel of death mission complete. <laughs> Which is like... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> It's just no I mean, heck, do we even properly know what happened to the Luthers? Did Adam kill them, or at least scare them off? It, it seems like he scared them off, or like used explosives. Yeah. To or used explosives to like drive them away, but yeah. it's never clear. Yeah, because poor Eve, poor Eve blacks out, and next thing, next thing she knows, she's looking at his little face, and he's just like, "You good?" And she's just like, "No." No, I'm not good. There's no chairs to sit in here. Yeah. Send help. That helps. So then you know what? You know what? That does explain a lot. Because what happens after he says that they would get back from, uh, from repairs? For repairs, she wakes up in a chair. It works. Yes. Yes, it does. And also, what was going on with that guy? What did you take from him? Just a little, mem just a little memory stick. Mm -hmm. Mm, gonna switch over to shotgun. These guys are very like. I can see what you mean. They are kind of Resident Evil esque. Like something mm. between like Resident Evil monsters and Hell, maybe even like the Taken or the Hissing Justice. Something about like the kind of the warped nature of what they look like. Yeah. But they look like something that was once human, but has gotten completely stretched out, folded in on itself. Mm hmm. And then there's just. Yep. Or you, or this or this armless one who just spits at me and then occasionally will will try and self destruct on me. All right. We'll call it a draw. Just it's like it's like your arms off. Yeah, it's just a flesh wound. Well, hey, the first, like, major boss, the first, like, true boss, not mini boss of the game, basically had a chainsaw for a face. Like, it was, like a big, like, wheel chainsaw. And that was just <laughs> its head. <laughs> it was just its head? Oh, lordy, hell. It's funny, oh, good lord. That's even crazier than Resident Evil, really, if you think about it, because at least, look, there was a chainsaw-wielding maniac in... In RE4, remember you, you, yeah. that you, poor Leon died to him like six times. <laughs> and, and he's like, we, we, we dubbed him Leatherface because he had the chainsaw. He was not the chainsaw. Well. Hello, Nova Gaming One. Welcome to stream. Oh, hi! What's going on? I, I we're we're running around doing side quests in the first area we went to, and smacking a lot, and yes, and sitting in chairs. We basically run around, hit chairs. No, no, hit enemies, use, sit in chairs, destroy boxes. Yes, right. or occasionally kick boxes to open for loot. <laughs> that has basically been the game for the past how long we've been on? Twenty minutes. Yeah. And also just watching, you know, you doing a little platforming with your... Oh my god, this hair. Cra this hair is cracking me up. Yes, her, her extremely long it's hair that, that is completely impractical. You guys watch anime? I've seen a couple of animes, um, but... I, I've seen some, not a lot, but I do know this is kind of very anime-esque. Yeah, definitely. You know? I know that. The Sorry, I thought one of those was actually a monster that was pretending to be stone because they do that. See, like this guy. Is that fair? But the answer is no. So it's like, oh yeah. So you just, you just appreciate what that muscle looks like. You just popped up, said hello there, and then just like Hulk smash two completely innocent statues. <laughs> just going about their day. Like if you were like you're on comms with Ad, like with Adam, right? He's <laughs> probably just watching like, oh, yep, there she goes again. 
Yep. Oh, I did not actually explore up here I, the, last time. Hello. I'm gonna slice you. You're an evil monster thing, you guys. No spitting. Yeah. Oh! oh my god! Okay. I knew, I saw that the guy was in there, but. <laughs> you didn't exactly think that would happen. Hello. Nope. That deserves extra special thing. It's actually because I was just doing the investigate prompt. Yeah. I'm gonna kick it. Nice. Stream polymer material. material. Yep. Just crafting stuff. You can, are these things you can make new clothes out of? Uh, yes, I think so. Cool. Or upgrade um, stuff that I have. Yeah. Bolt and bolt. Oh, this is fun. Hello. What do we have here? Ensure through security procedures at the Lion Statue entrance, Team Athena Leader. Thorough, I think. Oh. We. Oh. I'm also I'm also doing doing all this exploring because I want to see if there's any soda cans that I missed. I used to watch a, a a fair bit of Naruto and One Piece nice. back on Tsunami when when I used to watch that. Mm. I've enjoyed. I feel like I may have to say Devil is a part timer for me, but I've also seen Princess Jellyfish, and I grew up. Well, not growing up is not the right thing. I was like, when I was a teenager, um, my sister and I watched this anime called Penny Pony Dash, which is. It's very much a non sequitur kind of anime, but it, and it, sometimes it seems like it makes no sense because I think it's almost like a like a like affectionate parody of other animes. But boy, we can still quote stuff from some of that. <laughs> so, I'd say of the ones I've seen, Devil is a Part Timer has been my favorite. Whoa! Yes. And then the <laughs> and then there's me killing monsters with the electrified things in the subway that's full of water. Mm -hmm. As you do. Okay, I think that I already got everything that's up here. No? Oh no, those, those, those are just explosive boxes. Never mind. Run away! Run away from the explosions! Wait, what? Wait a minute, I just realized. How crazy is this? You're running away from explosions. <laughs> You're running away from explosive materials! Well, yeah, even in Helldivers I run away from the explosions, even if I am the one who's usually setting them off. Like there was, and I didn't actually record this, but there was the last time I played Helldivers two. Mm -hmm. There was a point where I was where I was accidentally on level nine instead of level seven because of the random search function. Oh yeah. I was being chased by, and I kid you not, 124 bugs, and I know that because I set off a hell bomb on ac on purpose and then tried to get far enough away from it that I would survive. I didn't. But and but while I died, it said it said killed 124 bugs, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, that was the biggest combo I have ever had in a, in, a, in any video game. It was, and bro, and fair. Helldivers, yes, is the case, but there is also record evidence of at least five times of you taking a bomb or other explosive. In Breath in Tears of the Kingdom and pointing it at point blank range at the ground and blowing yourself up with it. That it's, is fair. It's mostly as a pure ass intrusive thought. Yes. So I am simultaneously confused and proud at the same time. Well, there's right a difference here. between blowing myself up when I know that I can survive and trying not to die in this game, especially because I I have died. A good number of times, just because it, t it took me quite a bit of time to get in into the combat or used to the combat. <laughs> oh, what was in here? Um, bleach. Oh, nice. I, 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 I've actually seen a little bit of Bleach, but I only saw like a few episodes of it. And they were kind of out of context, so I didn't really know what was going on. That's fair. I just know that one guy was apparently like really... Uh -huh. Was like made of metal, so it's like you like let the person get like a free sword strike and nothing happens. Womp womp. Other than that, I saw a comic where someone um, said, Why is it called bleach? And it's like, Oh, because of all the blood on the clothes. <laughs> AKA, they need a lot of bleach. 
And that about ends my knowledge of anything relating to bleach. Oh, that's more than me. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of it, and I've seen, like, pictures of it, but that's it. Really? Oh my god, and you know what, you know what, you were just talking about that with all like, you know, bleach to clean up the blood of the clothes, and I'm just, and my mind just went to um, a line of dialogue from the first, from the first, um, <laughs> from the first Deadpool movie, when he's doing laundry. <laughs> Yeah. The laundromat soon after he start after he started doing the whole Deadpool superhero thing. And oh then there's a blind owl who is just like throw the water and lemon for blood. Or wear or wear red, dumbass. <laughs> and then he's just like I'm gonna adopt her. <laughs> yeah. And I don't actually know what my favorite character is. At least in like any in like animes and such. It's been too long, though. I am remembering this really, really weird anime that I um, used to see on Tanami um, called Bo 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 Bo. <laughs> it is a Japanese, um, I think it's a comedy anime, and it makes literally no sense. The main plot is that gets lost in translation a lot is evil. Evil people want. Oh, I, no, I haven't seen Cowboy Be Bebop. I have heard a lot of good things about it, but I haven't had a chance to watch it. To tell you the truth, the biggest thing I actually know about Cowboy Bebop is that there actually is a trope on TV tropes called Cowboy Bebop at his computer. <laughs> and the, here's the thing, I don't even remember what the trope entails. I just know it's a thing that exists. I'm like, well, this is random. <laughs> I know that Yahtzee likes it because he, he's always a fan of hobos in space. Mm. Or and bums in space. Are those his actual words? Because that yes. sounds like something he would say. Yes, that is that is his actual words when he was describing um, things he likes, and it and it's also sort of like the inspiration for one of the books he wrote, which I think was "Save the Galaxy for Cash." Oh, nice. Or "We'll Destroy the Galaxy for Cash," "We'll Save the Galaxy for Cash," and "We'll Leave the Galaxy for Good." I think is his newest book. Okay, I wonder if he publishes them under his name Yance, because that'd be pretty funny. It would be. I love that she doesn't even have a climbing, she just slides herself up. Hmm. Are you recharging? Yep, there you go. Like suggestions for anime or, or games? I'm not sure. Actually. I um Are you talking about are you talking about games or are you talking about something else there? Yep. Hooray, I can now have more health Congratulations. more health restoring thingies. Congratulations! No! No, the yeah. fuck! <laughs> Let me back. I'm gonna turn on a light because it's gonna get dark. Yeah. So they're staying for a stream, so probably a game. I'd always, I'd always welcome suggestions, though I don't know if I, if I'll do many of them. I have a lot of things I still need to stream. Yeah. I still need to show Angel uh, my hat. In time. Yes, a hat in time because that because she loves Super Mario Sunshine and that game is very has the same level of energy. Yeah. I let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, I've already completed two side quests. We now take the tram. I, well, we do take the tram as once you manage to get into the door and not just kick the side for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. no, I don't know. I feel bad about that. You good there, honey. Yeah. The it's got the warehouse seventy seven. And why send a kid to deliver the message? Anyway, oh, that's right. Yeah, kid a kid was sent to deliver us a message about the flooded plaza. And Eve, what do you mean what do you mean this must be the place? We were literally here before. I know, but now she's here in the place of the context of the message. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm, we can work on a logo at a, at a later point. Right now, just focus on this. I have thought about it, but definitely... I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of lost for words. Thank you for the offer, but not 
quite looking right now. We have gotten a few offers before. But if we if we are thinking about it more, we will be sure to like put out a, a call for people. Yeah. <clears throat> Die monster. <sighs> are there any cans? I think I... Hmm. I still can't use my map. Why no map? Ah, no. The, the statues don't have anything to do with you not having a map. Leave them alone. They're statues of monsters, though. It, they're, they're, they're not actual monsters pretending. What if they were monsters, but now they're just statues? Or what if the, or what if the, whatever makes the monsters infects the statues and makes them real monsters? Okay, now you're just talking out of your ass. No, I'm talking out of my mouth. I'm not... Well, you know. <laughs> She's just giving me a look. I'm just giving you a look. Excuse and now you're fighting a starfish. <laughs> you are making that up, sir. Oh, let me put it to you this way. I say... I don't actually have an Instagram. Oh... I guess you don't. <laughs> the, uh, what was I gonna call it? Um. Yeah! Did you not notice the little. No, I didn't. No, I did not. I was. I don't know what I was doing. I was looking at something else. That's fine. Yes, you can join the Discord if you want, but again, we're not really looking too much for for things at this at this point in time. But if that changes, we will we we will make you know, like an announcement somewhere, and um, you know, you and anyone else who wants to who's interested in showing us stuff can. Yeah. Yep. No, you you can just show it, I guess. If you'd like yep. to showcase your work, that's fine. Yep. You're, you're running around for a second. Yay! I'm oh, just, I'm just no, no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, damn it. It's a... <laughs> Did you just use a, one of my grenades? It's okay, I have a ton of them, but... Oh, okay, okay, if that's a grenade. Oh, okay, this is fun. How do I double jump? Oh, that's how you double jump. Sweet! How appropriate. Angel is not controlling the character a lot of um, people keep referring to as Angel. This is great. Okay, how does the camera work? This way. What does this button do? Oh, swipe. Can I go cut a plant? No, I'm not going to cut the plant. The plants are growing here. It's a beautiful thing. But I will, however, cut the air. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a statue. Nope, we're leaving the statue the one. <laughs> oh, oh god. Okay. Cafe Dorby? Oil, co oil coffee and nano bread? What the heck kind of a place is this? Look at that. What is oil coffee? Should there be a comma there? I, I don't know. What is I I'm confused. I Oh We Oh it's in here. Hello. It's a refrigerator. Can I interact with the refrigerator? Oh, I can climb on it. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay. That, no, 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 no. That's what I meant to do. Not what I meant okay, to do. Okay, time to take it back. No, no, wait, hang on. I'm doing parkour. I want to jump on the fans. You can't jump on the fan. Give I me wanna that. I want to jump. I want to jump. Okay, fine. Then I shall jump over the fan like a badass. Here we go. Okay, close enough. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped into the fan and fell to the floor. And the reason why the, the place mentioned oil all right i do think that like they were like upgrading humanity to like be more robotic because all the quote-unquote humans are still kind of robots in a way yeah. so it's it's really kind of blurry as to whether or not they're humans or robots but that's probably why it has the oil can i actually tell you something that reminds me of a red like a red versus blue story i read it was actually really really adorable it's like set late like Season 15 type of stuff here. Oh, wait. I will come back to this once this cutscene is over because this looks important. I'm opening the floodgates! 
Oh, that's right. Oh, the program is really working. Oh, is that Lily? Yep. This is so embarrassing. Oh, really? <laughs> Interesting. Indeed. Yeah, because they get, didn't you get like a program and was told to like, hey, you know, you're the only one who can do this? I think so. Yeah. Oh, and the monster's response. Right. That's not fair. This, this story, it was so cute. It was set like with the reds and blues, you know, like in, you know, their like in their brand new bases on their retirement moon making a big brunch you know like like fresh fruit um like you no know, grits muffins eggs all this crazy stuff and um and at one point lopez is just there being like what are y'all doing i am not interested in watching you guys and your crazy eating habits and stuff so like he comes, so like he goes and he gets the butter, and then he comes back and he's just about to leave. And Donut, bless him, who's like in charge of this, of this whole thing, is um like it's like wait 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 no you can't be leaving I have something for, it's like here I have something for you and he's just like what is this it's like it's it's robot coffee and he's like is this motor oil and Donut's like yeah in his little sunshiny way and Lopez mm. just it's just like looks at it and goes, gracias. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would not have thought of that, but that was wonderful. Whee. Can I get back up? I'm trying to see if I can get back up here. So I don't have to go all the way around. There, there we go. There you go. Good job. Parkour is possible. Yes. Because I want to... Ah! Did you just fall down again? Intentionally. Okay. Oh, look. That was not clear. Okay. Maybe it was clear by the lack of frustrated noises on your behalf, but still, you never know. You could just be roll- ow. Woo! No grabbing. Okay, these are not monsters. That guy is. Do the- Nice! <laughs> Look at him staggering away, like, oh god, I'm regretting my life choices right now. Take that. Ooh, box! <laughs> and more boxes! More boxes! There's never enough boxes! Okay. Do not see any cans or anything nearby, so we shall continue our adventure. I keep seeing your little jet ski robot guy behind you, and I he keeps like clipping into the frame in such a way that I keep thinking he's another monster. He's not. Sorry, buddy. Like, what is his purpose? Well, he um he does the scanning. Um, he transforms into the gun. Does he? Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I thought you noticed that. No, I didn't, because you know, I don't know if I've seen you use the gun. You definitely saw me use the gun yesterday when okay. I was playing. Just checking, just checking. But even still, you mostly did the stabby in your little red Ada dress. Okay, so I need a power cell to open that. Let's see if I can find one lying around somewhere. I did not realize that he was doing the scabbing. Does he have a name? I don't think the robot has a name, it's just um, Adam controls it and Lily also helps talk through it. Oh, that's fun. Does he have a sort of like a designation? No. Okay, then we'll just have to make one for him. Do, do, do. Why is it that the only name that's coming to my mind is Chester? <laughs> I have no idea why! <laughs> And this is why you are better at names than I am, because I struggle for like 10 minutes whenever I'm writing a story and I'm just trying to think of a name for someone, and then you, out of nowhere, it's just like, Chester, and it's like... And I don't know why Chester, though! It just happened! This is reminding me of the time when I was watching my sister play Destiny. This was a few years ago. I named her little ghost, I named, her, I named him Daryl. No, I did not check out your stuff yet. I'm currently streaming. Mm -hmm. I will check it out later. I don't know why this... Oh my gosh. I 
I don't know why. Ch I, I don't even know why I thought Chester. What the heck? Okay, I need a passcode for gotcha. that. Alrighty. Let's actually check out the ramp first. These enemies have also respawned, even though I never had a chance to sit on a chair. I'm just gonna head over this way first, because I think there may have been something over in the library that I forgot to grab. And then we'll head for the secondary objective point that is on my map. Okay. Is that the one for the whole sewer drainage? Yes. But, okay. Yeah, that was actually kind of hilarious. Is that this little girl, she must have been like maybe 10 years old. She's just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I get to read a real life angel. This is so exciting. She's like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to give this to you. I'm just the messenger. I don't know who gave it to me. Okay, go, gotta go by. And then she just like despawns in front of you. It's so funny. Oh, I, I completely forgot to activate this camp. <laughs> And then, um... And which means I also now have a new fast travel spot. And Angel was just like, why why did this person send a child? Like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, oh, yes, you know, like, please take this, like, I apologize for approaching you in this way. Please take this, um, thing and I will, and you'll see why I had to give, I had to approach it, approach you like this. You're the okay. only one who can help. Remind me to come back there. There was an angel core that I can get to improve health or, or energy. All right. Angel core back by the forgotten camp. Yes. Yes. I think I have to go that way anyway, but... Yay! Ow. <laughs> Jumps too high, heals. <laughs> What? Check the, um, Nova asked a, uh, another question. What is the favor, Nova? Yeah, I, I don't know if they're still there because I saw it go down from two viewers to one. So I don't know if they're still there, but, um... Yeah, if they're there, sorry, Nova. I was busy distracted. Yeah. Um, but if you are still there, can you give us some more details as to what the favor is? We'd like to help out if we could. Yeah. Is it okay? Oh. No, I got one of the safe codes. Cool. Also, that statue is for some reason holding 44 gold. As you do, I guess. Who, who in their right mind is just like, look, I understand hiding in plain sight and all that things, but who? She's like, oh, yes. A, like, who, like, who is, oh my god, I was like, Who's going around being like, I'm gonna put this, um... I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna put my gold in this statue. Um... I could try to give you a shout-out, I guess? I... I don't know, I have a lot of... I have a lot of people that come on to the server with stuff, but... Don't usually, don't usually give shout-outs. I can, I can definitely think about it, though, or... Try. Not sure much of what to do, though. Okay. <sighs> Yeet. Oh, I thought it was a can. I was hoping it was a can, but it was not. Oh, hello. Yay! <laughs> don't don't really need proof, but mm. you're all right. You're good. Kick. Did you want to just show off the cam footage for everybody? <laughs> and you, you're just like, hey, I got your elixir carrots! 
I, I, I enjoy the can. They're they're weird and silly, but they're entertaining. I mean, the hell, I was about to, I was I was like half expecting her to pull a link and start drinking it. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, Nova. We hope to see you soon, and uh, yeah, you have a good rest of your day. Yep, have a good day. Jump, 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 jump. Is there anything up here? Are there any treasures? Oh, look, a button. A button prompt. It's getting hot in here. Sorry, my mind went so take off all your clothes. Because that's just how the song goes, my dude. <laughs> I do not make the rules. You want to turn down the AC in the degree? Uh, maybe. Well, I'm just gonna keep running around looking for things. Oh, this is where I was earlier. I messed up the ambush, and I got hurt. I just fell too far. That's feel a little bit better already. Yeah. Uh, Eve. Thank you. There you go, darling. Whee! Oh, shoot. This place is like a maze. Yeah, really. It makes it all more irritating that you don't have a map. Yes. Though the map is usually 2D, so I don't think it would help much here, unfortunately. But still. Yeah. Alright, there's a rope over there I can take, or I can walk down the stairs. Mmm, let's go down the ramp slash stairs. Okay. Going I do appreciate the ramp, though, because it means accessibility before everything was destroyed. Hooray! Hello there. Damn it. Nice. No punching me in the face. Yeah. No arm for you. It's also, I have to admit, it's kind of funny just watching her. Like, maybe this is true for, like, a, like for certain types of fencing styles, but, like, like, sword fighting styles, but she just, I swear to God, she's, like, she's, like, striking poses, like, as she's stabbing at them, you know? Yeah. Like, maybe she, I, I can, you can, she's distributing her weight. Like, you know, which is fair, because you need to do that, you know, to keep your stance steady. But there's something about it, maybe it's just the clothes when she's just like, hey, sexy sword fight, stab, 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 stab. <sighs> okay, give me my can. I love that she just knocks so gently on it. <laughs> da da da! Cryo original! Hooray, I think I got the next reward on the list of cans. I love that though, just just a little careful, just a little careful. Knock, knock. And then the can pops out and then she turns around and strikes a pose that would make Link proud. And then puts it into her pocket, which I, her potential hammer space pocket, wherever the hell it may be. Mm -hmm. at least, look, at least these pans look like they would have pockets. But that dress she was wearing in your last in your last episode. Very much did not have My pockets. god, yes. We'll have to show off like some of the different outfits that you can have. Even if you don't switch what she's wearing. We have to show people how crazy some of these are. <laughs> it's and impractical. Uh, yes, I know. One of them is legit just a bathing suit. It says it's not, but it is. And it has a bunny tail on it. Nice. Let's go inside. Oh, Lily. Whoa. I can't believe it. Who would do something like this? Calling us traitors, calling us traitors. We just could not live in the city. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Lots of dead bodies in here. Yeah. What is this pose you strike going down the ladder? That's hilarious. I don't know. Cut hurts. Oh my god, and that one's just out of help. Mother Spear is wise, and she will give us salvation in the crisis of impending doom. Therefore, we will do Mother Spear's bidding on Earth at, um, as it is in heaven. Uh, we will return to the colony. The angel's coming will mark the beginning of the salvation. We will return to the colony. We will be compensated for our lost memories. We will be given new memories. Mother Spear is will is not to be doubted. Okay, so the worshipping Mother Sphere. At least that one is. A melancholic cry. We merely freed ourselves from the imprisonment of the cradle. We are not sure either. Someone has to know this. I think the cradle is the place where all the people are asleep in the main settlement. That makes sense. Yeah. Memory of despair. Why are we uh, stigmatized as traitors? She is chasing after us. I do not long how I do not know how long we are last here. Do you know who this she is? No. It's in red. You know what that means. It's important. And yeah, but I have no idea what this she is supposed to be. Oh damn, pronoun game. Either that, or they're too afraid to say it. We will live in our little shrine, keeping our faith close to our hearts. We object the city's horrid rules. All I can do is pray to our mother that this place will last forever. You don't have full proof, but it it, it, it makes sense. Yeah. Oh boy. No, not yet. Still got lots of other stuff to do. So these poor people just you know made a little made themselves a little bunker you know down here you know away from everything. They didn't seem to be hurting anything in the city. And someone came and stabbed them with the plasma and then flooded the place. Oh. oh, come on, jump out. There we go. Okay, so the water is still electrified. Good to know. Oh, that's electrification. Oh, God. <laughs> and then they flooded the place. And, but then someone found out about it and was able to give us the code to unflood it. Mm -hmm. And what Lily said was interesting because she said that it, se it seems as though they... Um, but she says, like, you know, it's like the person who flooded it is, like, the same person who knew how to unflood it is almost like it's the person who knew how to flood it in the first place. It's almost a guilty conscience, maybe? Maybe. Or it was part of the cover-up, but didn't want to be? Yeah. Or just maybe discovered the information on their own. Mm -hmm. Someone who's a hacker. Yeah. Although I have to admit... Uh, if they are, if they are more, I guess either one really, um, either scenario kind of properly showcases why the, um, why they would hide their identity and use a child as a messenger. Yeah. Because they were either afraid of being completely framed, which, or, or, or you know, like, out, outed. They're afraid of any retribution from anybody who would have covered this up. Or... I mean, they were, they want the truth to be exposed, but they're not willing or able to give up the information as to who, and they don't want anything to come back to them from. Yeah. Which is like, yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's, come on, guys. It's a post-apocalypse. Do we can we not have like super clandestine murder sprees going on at the same time? Can we? Can we, we have can, enough going on? Can we also just not have any clandestine murder sprees happening, regardless of whether it's apocalyptic or not? Can we just not? We just a period and if sentence. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I a, wish, yeah. but. Is there any indication of how long those guys were down there? Nah, I don't think so. And we don't know how long ago this crime happened. Nah, but it it, it seems like it, it had to have been at least somewhat recently. Yeah. Okay, take a seat. Ah, yes, yes. Do, do, do. Alright, so we're showing off the outfits now. Well, first we're gonna make a new one. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Well, let's actually go. I'm going to show them off in this menu, so that way I can actually yes. zoom in and out and rotate. So this is the starting one. Mm -hmm. I did change my hairstyle. This is the one that the friend was wearing that you can also wear. Oh yes. This. I don't even know what to say about this one. Do you look like the type? You look like the sexy lady at the start, like those street racing games that wave the checkered flag. Yeah, planet diving. Which is oddly enough one of the more practical ones because it covers up her whole ass body. Yeah. This one, you look like a you look like a sexy waitress at a casino. Mm -hmm. That one. No, no, no. That is the. That is the, um, the... Racing one. Racing one, yes. This one is just a swimsuit with a bunny tail. I mean, really. And, like, long... There's, like, a long ribbon in the back. Or something. Oh, oh no, it's a bunny hood. It's a, it's, bunny. A, it's a hood that has bunny ears. And then you have a, a butler bunny. This is definitely a casino. Uh, no, you know what that is? Magician's assistant. Ah, yes. The sexy and... This yeah. is, is this the Ada dress? This yes, is this Ada. is the Ada dress, basically. <laughs> we call this one the Ada dress because it looks like what Ada wears in uh, Resident Evil underneath that sassy trench coat of hers. Yeah. This one is... This this one, honestly, you look like you belong in like, some sort of dominatrix biker gang. <laughs> and then, and then the, the jogging suit. The jogging suit, yes. And, and then the one that we are now wearing, which kind of looks like this. This actually kind of looks like a biker style one. It does, like a but, like you know, a, but, like a biker band girl or something like that. Yes. But it's cool. Like that mm -hmm. actually looks the most civilian esque, if that makes sense. Yes. Like, um, kind of like um, I, I remember you were showing off with um, a cut, like you know, Lily's outfit. Like Lily's looks like like the outfit that Lily is currently wearing is so is so different. From the one that she originally started off with. She, um, we'll, we'll take a closer look when we see her next. Or maybe you guys remember a little bit of what it was like earlier. But she started off like with a more like. Um, oh, I can show it. Oh, Lily, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not in combat. See, combat's done. See? Ah. Swear it is. This is what she was wearing now. Yeah. And this is what she started wearing. Yes, so she is, um,. But honestly, the rainy day one look honestly looks like it's something an actual like a like a modern teenager would wear. Yes. Whereas beforehand, she looked like she had like a big ass like welder suit that was falling off and showing a corset underneath for some reason. Okay, now how do I get back up? So I'm gonna go around the long way. How, so did they say you can't change your outfit while you're in combat? Yes. Which is. I have to admit that's really hilarious. Cause you know, hell, even Zelda lets you change her outfits in the middle of combat. <laughs> but this game is like, no, 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 no. You are fighting creepy monsters. You are going. To if you're dressed as a Playboy bunny, you're gonna stay as a Playboy bunny until the combat is done. Then you can change your clothes. Yes, this is not time for a fashion show. You need to get your priorities straight. They are straight. I want to do a fashion show with each hit drawing me in a different costume. That's. That's what we call a glitch, honey. <laughs> let's 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 not let's not actually induce. It's basically isn't that basically what happened to the worst pre-made ever game in one of their multiplayers? Like they just kept hitting enemies, and then the enemies just kept changing their clothes. Yes. I think it was in the. Um... Oh God, I don't remember. I like I know the game, but I, I it went to Fallout New Vegas. Thank you. That was kind of like, I think it's bugged out because they keep throwing me. <laughs> 
Yes, because Fallout New Vegas is not the most stable of games, and it's definitely not designed for multiplayer. Yeah, but I think that's the one where they just keep bugging out, and like Gabby just keeps sliding all over Jake's screen. Yes. But to assert dominance. And then Alex is also glitching out too, so he just zooms in and they make the screen go all red and creepy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Unless you're gonna have a glitch out where you start running around with your like key posed for dominance, like in Hell Divers, uh, I think we should, you know, try not to actively induce glitches in this game. Okay, so that's where the corpse is, but I need to find a way to get there. Oh, this gate. Parkour! Oh, that's right, I opened this gate. Uh, how do I get over there? I need to go down and around? Oh, yeah, there's a secret area over here, maybe? Secret area! Oh, no, I've been over here. Not so secret. Then how do I get to where that body? Oh, I see, I see. I think. Ow. Eve. Eve. Eve, please. Ah, I see, I see. Glad I came back. I completely missed that body, but Eve needs to go down. Whoa. Eve, get the bolt. There you go, darling. There we go. Also, too, uh, you can also change her hair and her um, some of her accessories. With the hair, no matter what you do, like she will always have that really long ass ponytail. But you can change kind of what it looks like in the front. You can also change her glasses. She's wearing earrings. Yep. Pie Master actually found these oversized sunglasses um, in the last one, which um, combined, like when he wore them combined with the uh, jogging outfit, he looked like a celebrity trying to avoid getting spotted in public. Yep. Ooh, I can I can change the little drone. Jester, you can have dog ears now. I, I don't. I still don't know where the name Chester comes from, but I'm starting to think I won't be able to think of him as anything other than Chester at this point. What do you think? Should we send it? Why not? Jester! Jester! Jester the, the little robot that Lily gave a gun. Yeah, Chester the gun robot. Whoosh! Yeah, All beta right, car. Nice. That will give me more energy that I can store up to use for my special moves. So, um, what, um, a Pie Master briefly said it was an, that's an angel core, so, what, what, what did you say? Like, you'll occasionally find those bodies, like, the angels, you know, like, are... Are just what they call the people from up in the Mother Core. Yeah. They, they had sent other people down to Earth previously, but, you know, they died. Is, so. Is the Mother Core, like, what they call the Mother Sphere? Yes. In those religious, in those religious texts? Okay. Yeah, they call it the Mother Sphere. The, the, the cores are just what the, the, the people have in their body. Yeah. So you'll occasionally find them around, and um, Eve, who is also an angel herself, can um, salvage their cores and use them for upgrades. Yes, and it's also implied that like taking them kind of like helps like save their memory, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Which does explain, I mean, you know, it's, she, as you collect them, she she's, you know, she's, it's like a... She does it respectfully, you know, like, she she's gentle, she takes mm -hmm. it out, she, like, lets it absorb into her chest, she has a mo moment of reflection, because... Yeah, and I think the first time you find one, she says your memory will live on forever. Yeah. Are any of the other characters that, you, that we've run into so far, like, or at the least, um, like... Like, Adam is, like, the others are mostly human, right? Like, Adam is human, Lily's human. They're, they're still, well, well, Lily's one of us, so. Okay, so Lily's an angel. Yes. But, again, the whole human versus not human thing is questionable. Fair. Because even 
Adam is like, yeah, human, but it's implied that it's like, you know, human slash robot. They have like body cores that can run out, but not yeah. in the same way we do. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe that's it, actually kind of the point. Yeah, and and it, it was implied um, in like the most recent um, story beats that um, apparently there was a war before the war with the Natiba, which is the monsters were fighting, mm-hmm. and that war involved humanity fighting off androids they had made. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if humanity was already destroyed. Uh Uh-oh, warning. Ooh, the contents are unavailable due to Mother Sphere doctrine, and access is strictly prohibited. Please note that any continued attempts to access the information will be considered an attack on Mother Sphere. Okay, the fact that they're apparently hiding the fact that humans used to be only biological is very concerning. What's this? Mother Sphere? Doctrine? Just as I thought. Mother Sphere keeps many secrets. Let's go. There's nothing left for us to do here. Uh, not yet. Poor Lily. Yeah. <laughs> she had the whole thing. She, she sounds so little. <laughs> like especially, especially like when she's speaking through Chester. She is just like, oh my god, she, so- she sounds like the kids in like the first Harry Potter movie, where like they're very, I don't want to say that their accents are exaggerated, because I don't get the impression that they are trying to exaggerate anything, I think those are their natural like voices, voices. and stuff, but they, things seem much more like pronounced, like it almost seems like they're trying to over enunciate a little bit, or like they're really excited. Especially Hermione when she's in class. I've read about those. <laughs> they say when the fog turns red, it means you've forgotten something. Like, that's a little bit what Lily has. She has that same, like, extreme youthful energy in her voice. I'm like, you're like, you sound like you belong at Hogwarts. Like, bless you. Oh, I'm sorry. I definitely dodged that. Admit, with all the crazy swinging and stuff she does, I'm surprised Eve hasn't just chopped her own ponytail off by sheer happenstance. It gets in your way so much. Hey, her hair's about two feet longer than mine. And even then, I'm like, I would not be able to deal with just a ponytail. It would need to be a braid. And, or possibly even a bun. Bad mutant horse thing. Ow, I am blocking. E. I don't think she's broken in her new pants yet. <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm on about going. Oh, I missed that. Oh, hello. I have to admit, like, box is a single syllable word. Ooh, drone upgrade. But it's never, like, it's not as easy to just, it doesn't flow the way that, you know, bird does. Yes. The bird. I just probably not because you're dead by there. I just need to say I think that that was a little bit excessive in the way I killed that little spider guy because mm-hmm. it just it's like it's like Eve that thing is like usually one of the easiest enemies to beat and you just like ultra murdered it I, from above. 
I, I don't know. Maybe maybe she's trying to overcompensate after what happened with the mutant donkey thing. Yes. There like a day night cycle on these. No. But okay. As far as I've seen, it's just always the same time. Ah, yes, the crate that I couldn't get into before. You wanna go? You wanna go, bro? Come on. I'm here to hack a crate now that now that my drone can hack things. Go, buddy. Go, Chester. If you think about it, Chester is basically a dog. You know? He's yeah. a watchdog by helping you scout. He's a guard dog by help by detecting enemies and turning into a gun. He follows you he follows you around. <laughs> he, he he will investigate anything you tell him to investigate. And he will and he will break things like furniture if you leave him alone. <laughs> it's basically a dog. Yes. And now I can finally upgrade my drone with the can sensor. Yeah. Yay! There's gonna be so many more posing moments in our future. It's gonna be great. Hmm. But now, if it fits, I sit. Yeah. And then I just need to head to the sewers again as the final area because I think that one of the quests has, has me going back to the drop pod. Okay. Although I suppose I could just skip over most of it if I wanted to. Well, first off, there is some stuff over here. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff up there that I didn't get yet. Oh. But first, unleash your inner treasure, Brandlin. Yes. Oh, my friend. I'm trying to think of a way up there. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, you got it. Hello. Hello. Oh. Whoa! Oh my god. Yeah. He just kind of erupted. Yeah, they do that, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, it actually reminded me of the Las Plagas from mm -hmm. RE4. You know, once things were going down, they were going down. Yeah. The tibia reaction detected. It's all as planned. We lure them all into a single area. Plan failed, plan failed, plan. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, another core. And I actually wouldn't have been able to get up here because I didn't have the double jump yet. Unless I was supposed to get up here a different way. Mm -hmm. I actually wonder these memory sticks, um, these, or these, uh, the things that you're finding that say, you know, like the plan failed and like the kind of like seem to capture the last moments. Yeah. Th those are memory sticks, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. Or some sort of log. I wonder if those are done in written format, or if you're actually meant to hear them like audibly. I because don't know. I, because there's something a little interesting about, or if they're translating your audible sound, their audible um, voices and thoughts into text format. Because you mm. have to admit there is something a little silly about. I mean, it, while it's tragic to read, there is something a little silly to think about somebody who realizes that they are about to be in so much trouble, just taking out their pad or their stick and writing down, plan failed, plan failed, plan failed, instead of running the hell away. Yeah. Yeah, I do think that that might definitely be much more of, like, memory or thing. Eve, thank you. There you go, girl. You get it. Hello, boys. I have a sword. Jesus Hello. Ha, ah, you finally didn't get me of your ambush. Yeah. Woohoo. Uh, give me your treasure. I'm gonna open your little box. Bubbing. Crimson tear. Oh, fancy. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's earrings. <gasps> oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, those are pretty. I kind of like these ones better, though. Can we see actually what the different earrings you have are? 
I don't think I saw them all yesterday. But you got those ones. Hello. Crystal Tear. Yep. Ear Armor. <laughs> Turquoise Rings. Sundrop. Oh, those are pretty. And Black Rectangle. There. I just like that you have those, like... I like that you just have these customization options, you know? Like, that you can adjust mm -hmm. her glasses, you can adjust the earrings she's wearing, you can adjust her hair. Because... I, I think you told me yesterday these don't have any like special stats or um no nah, it's just all customizable for yeah. for customization's sake yeah so it's, i think it's kind of charming because then you can make her look the way you want to the way you want her to at least in a certain thing she does no matter what you wear she certainly still looks like a barbie doll <laughs> mm -hmm. but you know you could if you know, if there's a certain style that you like, you can just have her wear it all the time. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna double check over this way, make sure there's nothing that I miss. Doesn't look like there is. I do appreciate the improvements that the scanner has made to helping me find stuff. Good job, Chester. Good boy. Lillian Chester. Lillian Chester, yes. I also love, too, that, you know, you just keep your sword in your hair. Mm-hmm. Like, not only that, too, but that your sword goes from being something that's, like, about half, about, like, you know, half the size of your body to being something that you can just basically run around with it attached to your head and not seem to feel... Excuse me, anything at all. Yeah. Actually, hold on, I saw a crate over there. I need to see if that's. If it's special treasure, or if it's just regular box. No, I just, I'm trying to see if it's in the sewer area or not. Uh... Okay, now I think it is in the sewer. Okay. okay. So let's see if we can find it. And sometimes um, crates will have soda cans. Of course. You know what else? Ah, there's... As I, as I said previously, the game, it it struggles a little bit when you're fighting multiple monsters at once. But I think, I think a couple of times these guys vomit kind of hit each other and there's something really amusing about that to me. Be like, bro, you got them on my face. Sorry, dude, I was aiming for the girl. Well, bro, you missed. Ow, it's in my eyes. Stop it. Coming to station 59, falling in the sky, there was no orbital explosion. In fact, I wish I never saw it at all. Now I know there's no hope left for this land. Okay, well that's not depressing or anything. Nope, not at all. Oh boy. Maybe the box isn't here? Unless I can get up here? I don't think I can. So where do I get to that, to that box? Maybe it's not in the sewer? Unless I can open this door, but... Seeing any other way... Unless... No. There's a box over there, and I want to know how to get it. And there's a crate over here. Okay, crate is definitely in the sewers. But box, maybe it's... Maybe it is out here? Whoosh! A 
let's try killing this guy and then going for the crit. Hello, boys. <laughs> he just face planted into the ground. He was trying to go for a fatal attack on me, even if it doesn't actually kill me. That's just what it's called. And what happened? He not only did he miss, he just face planted into the ground. Because by the time he even got going, you were halfway around his back. Yeah. Oh, that poor man. Oh, okay, so the crate. I don't think I can get the crate here, so it has to be in the sewer somewhere, but... Nah. Alright, we'll head back to the sewer and explore around in there. Maybe we'll find a way to the box. Okay. Good luck. Ah. Whoa, good catch. Eve. Less parkour, more grabbing the, more grabbing the metal thing. There you go, girl. I'm gonna respawn the monsters, but... I want to make sure that my, you know, my save point is safe, so I don't have to run over the beans again. <laughs> oh, you want to go? You want to go? Let's dance. Let's dance, you and I. Uh oh. Stop kamikazing yourselves. <laughs> oh, hey. As long as you're able to move away, then they basically do half the job for you. I know, but still, just sort of like. Ew, exploding enemies. Oh, well, how is that any how is that any more gross than them legit vomiting on you? Because it's like because it's like ultra vomit. Yeah. Oh, oh. that was nasty. Yeah. Oh, like Nativa Hunter. Probably for killing a certain number of enemies. So yeah. You have to defeat a hundred enemies with beta skills. Nice. Did see a crate somewhere, so I'm gonna look around a little for it. I think this is the way that you go to continue. Yes, this is the way you go to continue. So let's head back this way for a second to see if there's if I can find that crate. Yes. Check the wrong way first. For treasure. Yeah. Yay! Swimming in the sewer water. Just what you wanted to do today. Well, hey, it's probably been a hundred years, so I'm sure the sewer's probably cleaned out by now. <laughs> also, too, it's not like it's any more gross than all the uh, monster gunky just got sprayed all over you, and yet she mm -hmm. has this, like, beauty shield. <laughs> yep, she, she'll be fabulous no matter what. I know. Rarity is so jealous. You know what? I am, too. I wish that I could... No! Uh -huh. At least you saved. I, I am too. I wish that I could, you know, just run around and do all the stuff without my hair getting tangled. It would make so much. It would make. I'd save so many minutes brushing out the tangles. Oh my gosh. Make braiding my hair for work so easier. I wish there was a way where I could just kick this guy off the cliff. Well, there, there you go. I guess that's as close as I can get. There you go. Look at that, he even, he even highlights the uh, grabby on things for you. That's adorable. Thank yeah. you. I don't know if I needed to upgrade for that or not, actually, because I don't remember him doing that in the past. Well, you know what? Maybe he, maybe he's just really leaning into his whole dog-like persona, and he's like, Oh, look at this! This looks like a stick! Maybe we can play fetch. In that crate, though. I can always come back for it, but I feel like it just, you know, it has like a new outfit or something in it. 
You want to do more fashion shows? Yes, I do. <laughs> mm. Oh, look, the voice where I died. <laughs> Eve just refused to grab the rope and fell down to her death. <laughs> Basically, what happened earlier, Eve refused to land on the pipe and also fell down to her death. Well, no, this that was just like a respawning me back to the area. This literally had me die and go back to the last checkpoint. Oh, no. Death. It's just sort of like, Eve, grab the rope. What? Did you intend to make that sound like a reference to Indiana Jones? No. Because <laughs> I do remember, you know, he's going in the quicksand and the only thing that they have available is that big snake and, you know, of course, why does it have to be snake? And, and, the, and then, what is it? Is it Marion, perhaps? With it? Mary and I, I think the other guy is also just sort of like, grab. The s grab the rope. Like, grab the snake. No, don't say grab the snake. I'm like, well, then what do you want us to say? Say grab the rope. And they're just like, grab the rope. And they are just so completely done with him. Like, bro, we are trying to save your life. Grab the freaking thing. I don't care what you call it. Just grab it and we'll get out of this nonsense. <laughs> you had, like, nailed that level of, um... Deadpan in your voice. It was great. Yeah. There you go. Progress. Is there anything down here? Yay. All the enemies. No, I think that I got everything down here, so I don't know where that crate is. I do see another camp over there, so maybe that maybe it'll be there. Still no sign though of that crate or that. I know which way I need to go, I just want to explore this way first. Let me have my treasure hunting fun, Adam, please. at the end of the sewers now. I still didn't find that crate. Weird. So. I'm sure I might be able to come back later. Wait, what? I don't think this area was open before. Or is this the area that was open? I know, this has the crate, so... Oh, well, I'm not demo for that. <laughs> and we are at the end of the area because this is where I fought the first boss. Okay. And I think there's a side quest here because people were saying, hey, we should investigate the pod that Lily was in. Oh. Because I took out the monster that was guarding said pod. Yep. Ugh. As it does. Recharge. Okay. Everything useful has been stripped already. 
You know, yeah, why not? We'll travel back to Zion. Okay. That's the end of the area. We can always come back for the other two things later. Plus, we have like four quests to turn in. <laughs> What was that? Yeah. What was that one for? Um, yeah, that's just for the pod. Okay, so that was the pod. This one is secret stash that we found. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, with the no. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the secret stash. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Someone's looking for medicine. Yeah, he's desperation. Sand disease. Yeah. Skulls roaming around Matrix Eleven. Oh boy! Should I help? Okay. Okay, so I can talk to that person there. I can deliver the book back to that guy. Oh yeah. We have And I can then talk to that guy. Okay. okay. Let's make the rounds. Yep. Then we can also show up a bit at the city while we're here. Yep. Although, actually, first things first, I think I'm actually going to head down to the, um, to the lower level because I want to try and talk to that guy for his quest. And for some reason the other day, he just would not actually talk to me. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, dude, dude, you have a quest for me to do. Let me talk. Let me talk, or more like let you let yourself talk. Yes. I am here. What are you to, waiting for? I am here to help. I am here to help. I have a robot dog. I'm ready for you. <laughs> I have a big sword on a robot dog. Let me help you with your quest. Yep. Going down. Whoosh. Yes. So this is like a salvaged city where like people are kind of rebuilding society, right? Or at least. If not rebuilding, at least trying to survive. Yeah. And a lot of them do think that the people in Mother Sphere will eventually come to help them, but they don't really realize that the Mother Sphere has no idea that they're here. Awkward. And, I don't know, something about the Mother Sphere is also just... Maybe it's just me, but it seems kind of suspicious at the moment. If only because of the fact that it's like, oh, you can't... You're not allowed to learn about the ancient civilization that used to be organic humans. Mm-hmm. And some part of me wonders if the monsters were created by the organic humans to fight the robots. Hey. This is the Oracle, who does Oracle things. Yes, hello. Now he will talk to me. Hey, buddy, I guess it's that time to think about it. Yeah. Oracle's condition continues to worsen. Angel, you have time to spare. Sure, what's up? What's going on? A difficult group among them, and dealing with them has been like one long headache. A difficult group? Difficult how, exactly? They spread this information or engage in riots, claiming we can't be trusted. Oh, boy. Orcos have always been tolerant of such things, so we have to keep a close watch discreetly. We can't crack down on just anybody. All right. Understandable. One of these particular radicals went missing recently. Tracking them down is our main priority right now. If you're capable of discretion, I have information. Mm -hmm. Is she capable of discretion? Look at her. Look at her hair, look at her outfit, look at her everything. All right. If that's what's required, so be it. Not that, not that I don't think she can behave discreetly, but I don't think she looks discreet. No. Like, at all. <laughs> She is not discreet. No, she is not discreet at all. She has a massive sword that she keeps in her in her big ass ponytail. She has a little robot dog and a sexy pair of jeans. There is nothing discreet happening here. Nothing at all. She also runs aggressively in front of in front of moving doors, but I think that's more pie master than anything else. It's a 
<laughs> get, get, get me your nose. Get me your nose. There we go. I got it. No. No. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I got it. Aww. <laughs> Don't you say aw to me, sir. Aw, oh, yeah. This is a picture here. <laughs> Come here. I pet you. Your hair is soft. <laughs> Alright, where are we off to now? Doing this quest, which involves running up here and finding this dead person. Okay. Ooh, let's see here. People at the Zion are forced to be trapped in the cradle. They say it's lack of energy that's crushing, that's causing this situation, but in fact it's Oracle's will. He discriminates first tier, first class citizens and second class citizens, and those who are not worthy are forced to live in eternal sleep. We employees at Architect are completely disagree with this, uh, with this already atrocity and intend to offer a safe shelter that citizens can choose by their own will. We hereby introduce the Ark fabricated with technology that ensures security and survival. Our Ark is the safest place on Earth. We have a trial zone at the back of Memory Square in Zion to try the superior quality of our shelter and do not hesitate to sign up. This has got to be who mine was talking about before. But uh what does this mean? That is a good question. This person was abandoned and died. What happened? Something's not right. I'll have to investigate this place called the Ark. Just be careful, because the last time we heard about um, the a place called the Ark that promised safety and tra safety and survival for Earth citizens after the apocalypse happened, it was. Basically, like what happened in Soma, and this yeah. wasn't exactly look. The arc itself was perfectly pleasant. Everything no else surrounding it was not. It might be a space for criminal activity, or some kind of conspiracy, or both. Wait, I'm seeing conflicting information. What? Hmm. For another clue to the entrance. Oh, here we go. Arctex Arctex Arc has a four-layer barrier shield and smart security system, all to ensure maximum security. All you have to do is remember the passcode. Have you forgotten the passcode? Don't worry. Arctex Arctech employs a unique system called the Puzzle System, installed at, outside the Arc, so that customers who have forgotten the passcode can enter safely. Turn Zion turn clockwise. Find the secret over. Uh, answer to the puzzle system and see how safe our arc is. Okay, so when did this guy <laughs> basically become Ilmo uh, Koskula? <laughs> and basically just make a bunch of fancy, um, not only make a bunch of, bunch of fancy convoluted puzzles, but also include the um, answers or this clues to said puzzles. Letters are popping up. Just all over the place. Is it relevant to the password? I'll have to investigate further. Okay, so now I just need to run around the city with no markers to find six computer terminals. Okay. And in the meantime, we can probably go talk to the other quest people. I also am amused by the fact that, um... They say, Arc Tech Arc. Arc Tech Art. Arc. Arc, yes. It honestly, it honestly sounds like someone who's doing his best to be a train seal. Arc, tech, arc. Arc, 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 arc. Arc, 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 deck, arc. <laughs> I just, I don't know who came up with this idea, but this is hilarious. Okay, I can't go down there. That place is currently restricted. I did see some glowing thing up on the side over here, so... I think that... I like glowing things. It, oh, that, that's where I was attacked. Oh. Oh. That's where you were stabbed. Yes. <laughs> well, that's great. Did you leave some of your angel essence on the ground? No, but I see three bodies up there, so maybe they were killed? Oh, well. We'll see. Uh, 
Yeah. Hello. Woohoo! You get a door! A box! I'm stealing the stuff. Oh, what? The kids? not like they can exactly object to it, right? Yeah. Ooh! Oh, Aaron's journal. I've been hiding every day near the Elix near the Exiles Passage, so I keep an, an eye on, my, on the Oracle scheme. Shockingly, shockingly, I saw them capture live Natibas and bring them back to Zion in the dead of night or before sunrise. That crazy old man is capturing the Natibas to terrorize the citizens. It's too bad they didn't leave any evidence. Any proof would have been scrubbed clean already. I can't prove what I saw. But above all, uh, Rail, the guard keeping watch, spotted me. I managed to get away without getting captured, but I'm sure Orca's... Oracle's beasts will come for me. I'm finished. I can't bear to see the evil deeds of Oracle and his guards. And if I'm caught, my sister will be left alone. What will happen to her? As a free citizen, I made up my mind to protect my freedom first. An opportunity to fix my mistake will arise. Maybe something better will happen if this record fa falls into the right hands. Praise the Zion Freedom Liberation Alliance. Is that the Aaron? Wasn't there uh, someone talking about Aaron? Yeah, he was like missing and I had to like go searching for him. Yeah. yeah. There was like an Aaron and then there was like an Aaron who was, um, yeah. a girl who stole something. Um, like a talisman or something. From a trade shop. Sand disease medicine? Oh, okay. Talk to you first. Oh. Well, first off, I think there's not a code machine over here. Oh, wait, no, that's the Indian. <laughs> Bye-bye, little girl. Who was that? Who led us to the corpses? Yeah, this is that, um... They want us flooded... The yeah, the flooded so, one, yeah. yeah. Any guesses we can make right now are just guesses. Nothing more. I... I will discover the truth. I swear. Yes. We must. Yeah. Alrighty. Mission complete. Yeah, things are, are definitely going weird, both here and... And like, end with the mother sphere. Yeah. Mother sphere is hiding information from us, or like re refusing to allow certain information to become public. Meanwhile, the Mindwell's stuff in this area is just also being kind of creepy or secretive. Yeah. Boop. I mean, people are getting. You know, people are getting shady. People are getting stabbed. People are getting soda cans from machines. Mm hmm. Oh gosh, hello. This is the oh, book guy. Back, and unharmed, it seems. It's a blessing from mother. Oh boy. Did you come across the book my brother left? Yes. Here it is. It's not exactly oh, the book. Thank you. I'm afraid. Yeah. I haven't seen this in a while. Let's see. Huh? 
What is this? It was like this when I found it. But my brother was so faithful. The fact that he would do such a thing, I, I can't imagine it. But he couldn't. He wouldn't have done something like this. I wonder what happened. He well, was close to death, maybe? Yeah. Also, please. I would be very grateful if, if you could not tell anyone else about this. Yeah. Fine. That's fair. Yes. I don't have anyone I could tell anyway. No, I don't have anyone you could tell. Why must you continue to use the test of my faith? Hi. It's me. If I have control of the camera during a cutscene, I am going to act like a hyperactive reporter and jam it in people's faces. More likely, you're gonna act like a like you're gonna act like a small child who wants to go in the merry-go-round. <sighs> or maybe a cat. Considering, like, so if Eve, like, is Eve, like, okay, this is gonna be a potential dumb question. I just want to make sure I'm understanding it right. Eve and, like, Lily, they're from the Mother Sphere, right? Yes, they were sent down in the opening cutscene on the ships, which were completely annihilated and destroyed. I wonder if, if I wonder how weird it feels for people to, like, you know, be blessing this Mother Sphere, like, in front of her, and she's like, oh, people have, like, made a religion about this. This is interesting. Yeah. Oh, Kaya! Kaya. Yeah. I think part of my quest is to talk to her. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope she comes back soon. I'm tired of waiting. I have felt as though she's closer to me lately. It's a big relief, and it's all thanks to you, Angel. That's. that's You're welcome, my dear. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to talk to her about Aaron. Yeah. Sure. Have you met a girl named Aaron? Aaron? I guess you've heard the story then. What story? About her and her father, Wild. They were really close. They cared for each other, but they were financially struggling. Oh. Ever since Lyle got that standing Buddha, he changed. He considers it his guardian angel. Yeah, that treasure, yeah. Yeah. Over time, his obsession grew stronger than ever. Oh. Oh, so that's why she was freaked out about it. It's built by strange drones. Nobody goes there. Perfect place to hide something. Okay. Thanks. So apparently this uh, thing was probably a little... Uh... So things are a little bit different than what Lyle, her father, was... Like, it's... When he first yeah. came up, he was talking about it. You know, like, he felt it was a starring angel. And then, you know, she, his daughter knew how, um, you know, like, special it was. And she... And, like valuable it was, so she stole it to sell it. I'm sure, and, and it's like, no, you were obsessed with this thing, and we were, and she was trying to get rid of it, so you'd stop being obsessed, and you know, pay more attention to her and bond with her. Mm -hmm. And also probably help you keep your head on straight, so you can stay, because if they are struggling with um, financial stuff, I mean, you don't need mm -hmm. an obsession. Yeah. Especially one, especially if it felt like it was. Especially one that was like harmful. Like, oh, she has legs. legs. Hi. So this is this is Enya, guys. This is the um, we helped her in the uh, last recorded episode. Um, her partner um, went out on a big quest to get her those legs because she actually was very very damaged and she's been her body's been undergoing repairs and now she has legs. Yep. The first quest helped her regain consciousness because she was. In like in sort of like a sort of like a stasis state almost where she was singing but she wasn't really conscious or of anything happening. Mm -hmm. Look at all the teddy bears this guy has. Oh my god. Yes. That's that's oh good lord. <laughs> I just I look they they look perfectly adorable, but when you have so many of them, I feel like you would just be waiting for them to come to life. Mm-hmm. Alright. 
All right, let's go try and check out that creepy arc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we turned in... Which, which one did we do? We turned in the one with the blocks. We turned in the one with the... Um, we turned in the... Um, the one with the sewers. I don't think we talked to the person about the... Oh, what am I called? We hadn't talked to the person about the restricted information yet. We asked about that girl's whereabouts. Mm -hmm. Am I missing something? Is there someone that is there someone that we haven't talked to yet? That we yeah, there's one. There's one other person. I don't remember which one they were. Okay. Maybe it's the maybe it's the one who went on the long-winded thing about the organic humans, and Lily got so excited. That yeah, I, that, I think that was it. <laughs> I knew him. I didn't know if there was someone in addition to him. Come on. I'm just I'm looking at the sequence because I think that you need to do them but you need to go clockwise around the city to do them, but I don't wanna you know Oh yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, I don't wanna just have to have to go around the city again to remember every single code. <laughs> Look at Chester just hanging out. Kind of funny looking at these. Like, oh yes, I remember some of these. Um, well, I mean, these, these look like Greek letters. I just don't remember what each one of them is. Mm -hmm. I saw Alpha, Beta, and pretty sure I saw um, Gamma. Yeah. Yes, Gamma and uh, Sigma, perhaps. Hello. Oh, like a door. Oh, multiple doors. This isn't suspicious or anything. Um, oh God, that's even more suspicious. Oh my God, he's dead. Yes. Someone, someone saved me. <laughs> These crazy bastards offered to show me the Ark, but they trapped me here and they won't let me go. Please let me go home, please. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh my god. I see blood on the walls. There's a lot about this game that's been surprisingly charming, but there's actually a lot of creepy stuff here. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, there's blood on that. What on earth were they doing here? I don't know, but... <gasps> Who are you guys? The door is not opening. The energy is running low. Where are the employees? I should have entered the cradle like the prophet said. I should not have trusted this arc thing. Wait. Wait, where are you guys? Who are you, Who are you guys? guys? Oh, no. Was it scavengers trying to steal stuff from the people? Oh, my God. oh that did something. Hope you yourself are able to get out of here. Hello. I th I'm sure I will be able to. Uh. This will do. Oh, hello. This will do for now. I'd rather live here quietly than sleep. And then sleep in the cradle where I'm not alive or dead. Hey, why is this door locked? He uh, hello? Oh my god, they lock them in in these things. This information was just out there for anybody to get in. Yeah. Imagine if someone else had just come in and just want to investigate, like, want to see what this whole thing was about, because all the advertisements are still, I imagine they went around and they solved the puzzle and then just... Mm -hmm. Please let me out. It's just a whole pile of bodies. Oh my gosh. How many people did they get in here? This. This. Oh my gosh. At, Ar at Arctech, customer protection is our top priority. Right now, the Royal Guards are prowling around to hunt down innocent people. We will be taking taken to the cradle. Arctech is forced to use its last resort for the, safe, for the sake of our client's safety. We will be taken to the cradle, I say. 
From now on, the ARC smart security system will activate. Our clients must remain safely in the ARC. We are afraid to let you know that you cannot leave the ARC from now on. You cannot return to Zion. We are afraid to let you know that you cannot leave the ARC from now on. You cannot return to Zion. Just oh. that over and over and over. Enjoy our top-notch service in the, sa- in the safest ARC on Earth. Why does it have to repeat Let's go like before that? the emergency power runs out. We don't know what might happen. Yeah, let's keep doing it here. And this place was even running out of power. Mm-hmm. So it seems yeah. like a shady corporation making something that they had not tested. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Alright, okay, you're, you're good. Yeah. I don't want to believe a human being was capable of this. Perhaps the situation here on Earth was so desperate they started losing their minds. Let's go. Some of those bodies seem kind of fresh, though. Yeah. And the blood was so... Okay, look. Mm. I know... I know that... Here's the thing. I know it's probably so it's recognizable as blood. I mean, movies do this all the time, you know? Yeah. But blood does turn, like, more brown when it dries. You know, because mm-hmm. the iron in it rusts. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, they, they, they wanted to create an alternative security thing, but they became so paranoid that they just locked everyone in. And then they died because the power was running out. Yeah, I mean, did we see anything that indicated food or water? Not really. Just the creepy chairs. Mm-hmm. And we had to break those four consoles to unlock the four doors. And so many of, and here's the thing, like, so many of, if that was the case, if people were just, you know, starving, why was there so much blood everywhere? Why were things, like, why were the bodies torn apart? Why was one impaled on the wall? What on earth could you guys have been doing? Yeah. Unless the prisoners themselves did that because they themselves were going crazy. Maybe. I mean, they were trapped in there with no way out. And, you know, the, apparently the security system didn't want to tell them that they couldn't get out. Yeah. So I'd be freaking out, too. I know. Oh, boy. As the personal link expands, hmm. Angel, what happened? I found the radical, but he was already dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the situation there was complicated. I think that the radical lied to the other citizens about protecting them, but in the end, he locked them all up and killed them. Hmm. He told them that Zion was being manipulated by Orko. Hmm. Is that so? Yeah. Thank you, anyway. We'll take care of whatever comes next. But then what happened to the radical guy in the first place? I don't know. He was just dead in in the alley. But apparently his arc system was... I don't know. The, the whole reason they're putting people in the stasis chamber back behind there is because they're running low on energy. Mm-hmm. And they're not able to, like, charge their cores, which, you know, sometimes you'll find dead people that's like, oh, their core ran out of energy, which means they've officially died. So, yeah. <laughs> so I wonder if he, in his paranoia, you know, ran out of energy, meaning there was no one on the outside to let anyone out. Or, or maybe he did lock them in, and then he, there was that one message, like, wait, it's like, wait, who are you guys? Mm-hmm. Maybe they did go in and kill everyone, and then maybe whoever he killed the people with then killed him. Oh. Long story short, Willie was right. That was kind of insane. Everybody went everybody went crazy for a bit there. Yeah. All right. Hello. Yes, this is Eve. How can I take? How can I direct your call? Is like, yes, ma'am. Let me transfer you over to the waypoint. Thank you. Travels along phone lines. Hey, man! Oh, Angel! Did you find the records about the organic humans? Yes, this is the man. Everything was locked up tight, so I wasn't able to see the contents. It's a shame. <laughs> so that's how it is, huh? Yeah. This is fantastic. There really is something. 
Okay. Mark my words, I'll find the truth, even if it's the last thing I do. It may be. It cannot be tucked away in the shadows. Yeah, I'm still suspicious of Mother Sphere. I, like, I mean, she didn't. Yeah. I mean, she didn't exactly go into the whole against the doctrine type thing, now, did she? Yeah. The fact that the Mother Sphere is apparently hiding that kind of information about organic humans before everyone upgraded to become robotic humans is interesting, especially given the, the story beat about like the war. So don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't Let's be look at my cans. Look at you! <laughs> you just... Like you just commandeered an empty vending machine to showcase your can collection. Lily built it for me. Of course she did. Lily. And if I collect all the cans, I get this outfit over on the right. Hey, sexy lady! Alright, let's... What's up, Adam? We can do more side quests, but for now, let's actually move towards the next main quest. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to leave? All right. All preparations are complete. Finally, looks like the time has come to test out the Alpha Signal Meter. Yes, and if it functions as intended, things should be a lot easier. All right, let me take you to Matrix Eleven. All right. So what are we doing here with Matrix 11? Like, I think that that is where the next alpha monster is. And we need four um, alpha cores from these monsters to get into the nest where the like main Natiba like, spawner or some such is, supposedly. Okay. According to the Oracle, we have one because that was the first boss from that area we just went through yeah. before we came to the city. So now we got two um, hypercells for them, so the Oracle has enough power mm -hmm. to see and locate the second Alpha, which we are now going to go and try to murder. Murder! Oh, look, I can! Ah, uh, not a fun can, Get unfortunately. It. Get it. Maybe it's just dirty. You can clean it off. You're on Matrix 11, isn't this where you're supposed to be able to find that sand medicine anyway? Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that, that you can also find here as well. Fine. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of quests that are going to be here as well. Though, knowing the game, I'm probably not going to have access to a map. Of course. <clears throat> Give me. Are we so little next game? They look like they're, they look like they're about like 10 or 15 years apart. Look at them. <laughs> Look at them, that baby. Oh, I do have a map. A map! A solar tower, we definitely need to go to that first. You're in the map, you're in the map. You get the map, you've got the map. But first... Does this work, is the question. Okay, it does. Yay! Oh, it's a uh, dream catcher. That's nice. Yes, they all have one. But the thing is, um, the reason I'm saying we have to go to the solar tower first is uh -huh. because... Um, certain areas like this won't actually activate if the solar tower is not on, including fast travel. The Zion Great Desert Crossing Expedition uh, Exploration Team is heading out to its objective. If there are any late participants who've come to join the team, please turn back to Zion. Eh. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be a thing. I'm like, oh yes, you can meet us here. I'm like, nope, nope, we found it. We found it. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Did you find anything from here? No. Advanced nano elements. Ah. Kind of funny, you're out here in this deserty area. Is this. Uh, oh, I see. We're, we're probably not going to head down to the. Um, or head to the solar tower yet because we're just right at the border of where Matrix 11 is. Okay. Yeah, the. Um... Is that, this is going to be a dumb question. These are all on different planets, right? No, this is all the same planet. All the same planet. Okay, never mind. Yeah, you can't. We we can't leave Earth because just trying to get to Earth in the start of the game resulted in at least like four or five ships being blown up. Yes. So because the Natiba are able to attack in the upper atmosphere. Yes. Okay, so we're not actually going to be able to explore the Great Desert yet. We're just going to be heading down into Matrix Eleven, which is underground. All right. That's kind of nice. I feel like you're not exactly wearing the most practical desert exploration um, outfit. 
Why? None of this stuff is practical, but I'm a robot. Hang on, the lost pair would be unknown. I have truly discovered a, I have discovered a truly marvelous truth about the colony extinction. The real traitor is in space. However, I won't record it here. I don't have enough RAM. So instead, I'm going to die in the bathroom. I mean, that poor soul. That's a rough way to go. But it, yes, you may be a robot, but you are also here wearing a leather jacket and denim pants in a desert. This is not. I could be wearing the swimsuit in the desert. That would probably be slightly more practical. It's a, something that's a. It's something that's at least a little bit better at keeping you cool. Yeah, but sand and strong winds. You're a robot. Like, Sir. You'd have to deal with sand and strong winds no matter what. Yeah, so it's better to have protection from the sand and strong winds. Most things don't even work. An underground Bear your mid drift. Is it some kind of bunker? You will so overheat. It became one, yeah, but it was a subway station first. The subway moves people around the city using a web like system. Or, well, they used to do that. Alright then. Let's go get us an alpha. If you are a robot, you probably are susceptible to high heat. At least to an extent. And there hasn't been any mention of it when I was running around in like the deserted wasteland area, but you you could be right. Mm. I think I may have to bar I think I may have to paraphrase from Simmons here for a minute. None of this is practical. We're gonna start analyzing now. And apparently the answer is for me, yes. And also for me, it's like, okay, I'm gonna stop before I get too deep down my own rabbit hole. As is usually the case. As is usually the case, yes. Just see the last stream we did for Hell Divers where I just went into full cat mode. Yes, okay, that way it's locked, so we're gonna have to go around. Oh, excuse me. And I don't have access to them now. Even though I just did on the surface. Well, you know what? You were the one who was expecting you wouldn't have one. So at this point, it's like, alright. Now we're just fulfilling expectations. Explosions! Whoa! There you see. I knew you could do it. I knew you could I knew you could not resist the explosive barrels. You got little swings hanging from your ears. <laughs> no one ever said earrings Watch had out. to make sense. This oh. place is old. Structural integrity might be compromised. I mean, normally they don't. They're not earrings are not something you ever expect to make sense. They're there for decoration. They don't have to make sense. They just have oh. to be pretty. That's fair. Now there are some things that are that are probably very unwieldy. But it's like no, they don't need they don't need to have a purpose. They're just there to decorate uh, your ear. Can I open this? No. No. Okay, at least that makes more sense than the wire fence. It's like, oh yes, I have a sword that can cut through monsters, but it can't like just slide through and unlatch a gate. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, hello, gentlemen. Hello. Goodbye, gentlemen. I like the fact that I'm probably already like 15 hours into this, or 15 to 16 hours into this game, and I've still made like not too much progress in the main story just because I've been doing all the side questing. And treasure gremlining. Yes, and treasure gremlining. Mm -hmm. It's like me in Final Fantasy all over again. It's like you in Tears of the Kingdom, really. How, look, we have like what, 30 some episodes of a transport delay to this. The network is currently down for unknown reasons. All train service has been suspended for your safety. Please ask our staff for more details. Please wait in the train or at the station where, in, where it is safe to do so. We are sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused. Cryotechnology Matrix Metropolitan Rail, Railway Co. LTD. Yep. Okay, done. 
Yeah, I'd say things certainly seem to be uh, the system is down. Yep. Pay no attention to the fact that there are um, explosive crates in uh, everywhere in uh, passenger railway cars. Yes. Time to put hell divers to use. Okay, you got this. Oh no, I hate these ones. They don't go in order. Uh, no. Ah. If it if it goes in order, it's fine. But it's where but in this one where it just randomly chooses a different one to go to each and every time. It is so ultra annoying. Okay, got I got that was very lucky. I got a lot of them that were all the same. So good job. Yeah, I just yeah, I hate those ones compared to. There are others where you you know you just follow the normal order, and those are so much easier. That is. Uh... Kind of makes me think of that mail sorting mini game like in uh, Wind Waker. <laughs> Once you get yeah. the duplicates, it's a lot easier to get up the high score. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Is anyone there? Uh, can someone please answer? Damn it! Did everyone get wiped out? I can't see. It's too dark. Jeremy, right? I'm glad you're safe. Wait. Y your face. Oh no. Are we gonna have head crabs? Head crabs. Those two squid-like thingies we saw earlier, what if they're able to jump onto people's heads, like in Half-Life? Oh, or like Alien. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Case in point. Ah, I knew it! Why did you have to call that, sir? Sir. No, sir. Sir. Oh, my God. This Ew. is so much worse. Ew. This is so... Shoot it! Shoot it! Chester, go! Chester, go! Send help, please! Get it. Oh, the thing's still alive! Yes! You killed the toast, not it, not yet. Okay, it's good now. It's good. Okay. I've never seen an Ativa use a corpse in its host. We'll probably encounter more of them soon enough. Uh, I hope not. Oh, Adam, you must be new to vi to video game tropes. There's gonna be plenty more where that came from, my friend. I am. I'm. I'm. At one point, I'm happy I called it, but at the other point, I'm really upset that I called it because it's just like, oh god. Though to be fair, it's it could be worse. Using dead bodies is better than the head crabs in Half Life because there you can actually hear <gasps> the victims screaming underneath the head crabs. Yeah. Oh. It's sort of like a well-known fact about it that it just makes it even more horrible. Yeah, it's me. Honestly, it's making me think of um, a little bit of the um, face huggers from Alien. Although, granted, the face huggers themselves were problematic, but they weren't the immediate threat. They are the ones who laid the chestburster eggs, and then those became yeah. problematic. Yeah. Up a supply signal. Oh! Ah! Oh! Are they able to use supply signals as ambushes? Oh. No, there's probably one in there. This guy's just coming through. Okay, okay. Just, um. Okay. I hate. Oh, Lord. I'm, I'm much happier that that's the case, but good Lord. Oh, and that's actually one of my missions is to defeat 10 of those things. Sorry, Adam. We've got a lot more where those came from. Or maybe it was an ambush. It's hard to tell. Hey. I saw something unbelievable. My dead comrades came back to life, but they're no longer human. There were tentacles coming out of their faces. Those monsters were controlling the corpses like marionettes. Yeah. <sighs> One, one thing to do. Kaboom! Blow things up. Eve, oil drums rolling around here. Yes, trust me, we, we know this. We know this, my friend. 
Oh great, all of them survived the oil drums. Well that's just rude. Get off of there, you little slime ball. Yeah. Don't know why the oil drums didn't actually do much to help kill those things, but whatever. At least you made some fireworks. Those were always fun. Yep. Yeah, I see a monster over there. Oh, my God. oh, it's blocking my way. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Hello, sir. Does this smell like oil to you? Asking for a friend may or may not be Chester. That was so gross. Agreed. Or I guess grosser than usual. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> huh? oh, man, a well, moment. I thought it was maybe a can. Oh, so they um. Yes, there are traces of survivors that lived here. I wonder how long it's been since the sound of a piano echoed down this tunnel. Oh. Oh, hello. No more corpse monsters, please. We have had our fun, if you can even call it that. We do not want any more k things back. Okay, I did miss something back here. Extreme polymer. Here? Oh, yeah, the... And like a little cove area. Yeah. Give me your treasure. Ta-da! Okay, so this is a dead end, so I did have to go on the train to fight the thingy. I just okay. did not explore first. Hello. We chose isolation to keep out danger. We we made rules, reduced waste, and supported each other. However, a number of earthquakes brought death upon this place. Monsters began to invade through the cracks that were created when the ground started to collapse. Oh. So basically, like the... Either like either the monsters themselves caused the train the whole train system to fall apart or the train fell apart independently and then the monsters started to overtake it. And the people yeah. who were stranded down here just tried to do the best they could. It sounds more like the latter where things were okay down here. Oh god, that guy's had a, a that has a big Oh god. sounded more like, you know, this place used to be safe, but then, once the earthquake started, possibly caused by the Alpha Natiba, yeah. it just, you know, it broke so much that they began coming in through the cracks. And then it just makes you wonder what on earth happened to the trains in the first place. This yeah. place looks safe. To get closed down. Well, let's rest for a bit. Be careful what you say, Adam. If you drink it, I'm gonna be mad at you. Drone upgrade! Woo! Yay! A locker! Oh! Okay, I actually thought for a minute, it's like, wait, what if a head crab thing burst out of the locker? Oh, I would have been very mad at Adam. <laughs> 
Well, he didn't say open the locker. He said take a rest. He said that, but he also said this place looks safe. Well, that? how is he supposed to know there was a monster in the closet? How is he supposed to know there isn't? <laughs> Okay, let's just take a rest. Alright. Oh, do you want to keep going, or do you think that would be a good place to end? Maybe a good place to end, because... Perhaps, because, um... You don't know... Sir. Why are you a cat? Sir, I'm supposed to be the cat in this relationship. Put it down. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> you are saying? <laughs> I, I know, like, you gotta get, um, finish, like, getting ready for work and stuff. And, um... This way we can save, you know, more exploration and the whole alpha cell for the next time. Yes, which will probably just be a video on YouTube, but yes. Yes. Anyways, thank you all for joining us as we climb onto the table and do a flip for some reason. And parkour, just parkour in the actual safe area, not the uh, pseudo safe area. Everything yeah. is fine. To be fair, her climbing on the table is something she just does accidentally. If I'm like run too close to the table, she'll just do bloop. that. <laughs> Or should do like a fancy little spin. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I mean, honestly, Link kind of does the same thing, really. Because he doesn't have a jump hit. He doesn't always have like a jump. So he's just like, mm, yes. Oh, yes. Here, I'm going to climb this thing. This is where I'm assuming I'm supposed to go. But meanwhile. <laughs> but meanwhile, sometimes sometimes she jumps with both her legs. Sometimes she does like a mid-air mid mid cartwheel like that. Yeah. Oi. Oi. All right. That is all for tonight's late... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to our evening um, acrobatic show. We hope you all had a good time. And until next time, good night, Internet, and enjoy the pretty earrings. Yes, good night, Internet. Yay!